Hello, and thank you for clicking on this video and sharing your cargo bike journey with me. The goal of this video is to kick off your cargo bike journey and answering the question, what exactly is a cargo bike? Before we jump into answering that question, a quick introduction. I'm Arlie with Bike Shop Girl, where I'm focused on connecting families and communities by bike. On this channel, I talk about daily life by bike, with a focus on helping families and businesses get on the bike and leaving the car at home. If that interests you, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm a lifelong cyclist, and after having our first child five years ago, I hated being stuck in my car, driving my kids around. If you can relate, let me know in the comments below. Well then, enter the cargo bike. This thing literally saved my mom's sanity and helps me stay on a bike while burning less fossil fuels and sharing a healthy habit with my family while doing normal daily life mom errands. All right, back to the original question of why you clicked on this. What exactly is a cargo bike? Technically, any bike can carry cargo. You on your road bike could be considered cargo. You can also add a rear rack or a front basket to most bikes to carry groceries or a child in a seat behind you. It doesn't mean the bike will handle this well or that it's designed for the purpose that you're using it for. Personally, I think a cargo bike should be able to carry the primary rider and at least 120 additional pounds of cargo, whatever that cargo may mean to you. Of course, people's opinions may vary, and if you have different ones, let me know in the comments below. Typically, cargo bikes have dedicated ways to carry cargo, children, oh, and maybe most importantly, they must have a great stable kickstand to keep the bike upright and steady while you load your kids or cargo. This video you're watching right now kicks off a Cargo Bike Basics video series. And in my next video, I'm gonna be talking about all the different types of cargo bikes available in the US. I'm also working on talking a little bit less with my hands. So we'll see as the series progresses if I get any better at that. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out the Cargo Bike Basics playlist over here. And if you are watching somewhere else, I'll link to the series in the description below. Make sure to hit subscribe so you know when the next video in the series is published. Until the next video, add some comments below on what questions or thoughts you have around cargo bikes. And thank you for watching, and again, including me in your cargo bike journey. I really thought I would have better tan lines and more muscular arms by this point of the summer, but maybe this fall, maybe this fall I'll work on my upper body.